clearly I thought I was done, hence the bonnet. I am not. Um, and this actually builds on the one that I am about to upload first. But if you haven't caught my recent lives, I would watch those because I have shared so much in those. And even in the midst of all my feelings and healing and anger and frustration, notice how I still expressed, I know what God has said. So it's giving very mindful, it's giving very prophetic. I'd argue faithful, but I have to be honest and say that I know I have not been 100% faithful in this journey, in life period, but also in this journey for kingdom marriage. Um, I told y'all that I killed my kingdom husband <laughs> and I didn't know if it was just like God showing me like a giant just on the bloodline period. Like we got to die. It has to be a new us or like just. Like him, like him, period. This relationship, it got to go, right? I was very honest about that. Um, But now, where the Lord is meeting me, are you going to be mad even if you know they're coming? So, say y'all have these plans. Ooh, I'm getting emotional. Say y'all have these plans, um, and you may think, that you and that man made those plans, made that appointment, but it was God. So you're wanting it to happen at this time. You're thinking it's going to happen at this time, but something comes up. Now, when you're mature, when you're in love, you know, like, it ain't no pressure. Like, you know, like something came up. And I've made these words, you know, passenger princess, we may have to stop. We may have to get out. Maybe somebody need deliverance. It, it's, it was so easy to share that until I'm actually living it. And you think it's a quick stop, but what if it ain't a quick stop? Right? And I shared that Janae Eco song, I think, um, with Mally Music. Um, anyways, but what if it's not a quick trip? Right? What if? It's months long. What if it's years long? But can you still be happy knowing that he's coming? Now, maybe I'm getting emotional too because I'm feeling the Jesus part of this, right? Like he is coming back for a spotless bride. He's coming back. So that speaks to even just what we as women are doing in our process to prepare you know, in our for preparation our, for our husbands, like for Jesus and, and the physical husband. The song is Trip by Janae Aiko and Melly Music. But say you're aware of this destination or even just like this date that y'all have, whatever it is. And so say he call, something come up, you're going to be cool. Because if you really love him, like, okay, I want you to handle that. Or say y'all make these plans, but you know what his life is like, what his schedule is like, what he has going on right now. And you know he's tired and you know he'd be willing to do that and come to you. But you care about him being well rested. So maybe, you know, we just put a little delay in there. Like you need a little rest, right? I want you to come and you at your best. I want, you want you to feel your best, right? And when we're not selfish, when we're not worried about the wrong things, when we really do care about their health, their safety, their well-being, what is a little bit of delay in our plans if when you get here, you're going to be how you need to be, where you need to be mentally, physically, spiritually. Um, I also kind of want to interject in here because the Lord was showing me this today. I was so tired when I got off work and I had to go to the grocery store because I had no groceries in here. And I noticed so many men buying their wives flowers in Publix. I noticed so many men buying them, like, he finna take that to the house to get her. I don't know what she been doing all day, but he got on work clothes. He been working all day. I'm sure he's tired, but he still thinks enough of her to make this stop and to get something for her. So what if there's a little bit of delay and you don't even know that he's stopped because he's doing something for you or to bring you a 
gift. I just want to throw that in there because this illustration is coming in very heavy for me right now and I know it's prophetic. What if he don't come because on the flip side, he gets distracted or lured away by another woman or another person? What if that's the cause of the delay? I'm sharing that because although I had a dream where I killed him, I also had a dream where he still made it to me. And I think that's why I got emotional because... If that's where God has his car going, and by car, I mean his life, if that is already what is in the GPS of his heart, come through Holy Spirit, he going to make it to you. And so even going back to what I just shared about fear and stuff, you have to have that faith. I'm the type where I have the dreams where it's like, what? And then I had a dreams where it's like, I would rather, you know, believe this. And that's the choice you got to make. And that's where you pray from to cover them, to cover y'all from the good stuff, right? Not to get ca caught up because um, why the counterfeit even in the car? But do he make it to you? It's <laughs> as so, so you know how to pray. Okay, so are you going to still be happy knowing that he's coming? And me personally... I do believe we made it through a lot of the, the negative what ifs, but the delay could be caused for other reasons. And if you really love somebody, you still going to be happy that they make it to you or they on their way to you or you, kn you know they're trying to get to you. That should be enough when you love them. Okay. Um, ooh, I can't even tell you the last time I talked to y'all for real, for real, like love, like kingdom marriage. It feels good to be doing it. But I could see how my heart was getting hardened in this, um, in this. Like, I didn't want to keep talking about this. I didn't want to keep doing this. I didn't want to keep publicly sharing, right? Um, but I just thank God because I really did need a fresh win. And he's like, you going to be happy knowing he coming? Like, he on the way, even if it take a little longer. But, like, he on the way. So... Two contexts, be able to see the bigger picture. That was such a good sermon. And you have faith from that bigger picture context, not doubt from the, why is this thing even distracting him? Why is it even taking so much longer? Have the bigger picture context that's full of love. And I think we're going to talk about love and the word he gave me about love a couple months ago, probably my next word, but um Choose that bigger picture in that context with love and I wholeheartedly care about your safety, your well-being, your heart, your mind, your spirit. Like, that's what I care most about. I want you to be here. I want you to get here, but I want you to get here healthy and whole. And don't rush because... When you rush, like, think about when somebody's driving. Like, think about, like, take your time. Don't rush, right? Because I want you to be safe. And I don't want you to have no accidents or no mishaps because you was trying to get here so fast or you felt so pressured to get here so fast. I'm so convicted. <laughs> but do you get what I'm saying? Okay, maturity. And when you love somebody, I feel like that's, like, you ain't going to be pressing them about it. Oh. And when you have that divine appointment, that divine date, right, from God with that person, even when y'all have breakthrough on the journey, it can be expected that you're going to have some opposition because you're having that breakthrough. Like, we see that on our individual lives. Like, I'm making my way, you know? And the devil don't like that. And... Being able to understand that, like, and also I'm not surprised if today was a little rough for us because we did have breakthrough. You get what I'm saying? And maybe we need a second to regroup, no matter what level you're, you're saying it at, right? But, like, know that that delay going to, the delay is going to try to come in, right? Because you are progressing. So, I don't know. New Meg, who this?